Oh, what do you think? Well, back here at the tool and cutter grinder. And I'm still fiddling around with these um, carbide uh, round shank threading tools. And uh, this is the setup I'll use to uh, sharpen them. And uh, so when that happens, let's see if I can get this loose. It'll be over like that. And then I rotate it. Let's see if I can set this over here. Then I take and rotate this for the um, side clearance. And we get about uh, four degrees seems good. Now I'm going to do a test cut on a coarser thread than I've tried with this setup, 3816. I've done quarter 20, and it just seems like uh, the, the course of threads are a little uh, harder on the situation but I got a better cutter just uh, want to test the limits of this and I switch this over here to 30 30 degrees so I got the clearance uh, the side clearance set there and now I'm going to dial in this angle using a magnifier because the uh, graduations are getting smaller the older I get. <laughs> okay, so that's that's the setup there. And I'll get this in a better spot uh, when I do that grind. Okay, here's one of those uh, round carbide cutters. This is what it looks like before. <laughs> it's a shank off a broken drill bit. Now, I took and ground a shallow flat right here, and that'll, that, um, you can help locate the tool uh, in the uh, D block with the crown. Works pretty good. So, this is the setup I use to touch up the tools, these tools, uh, for uh, when I'm threading. So I'll go ahead and uh, do this side. Kind of hard to get the light in there. I don't know where the best spot is. We'll try that. I think you can see everything okay. Now I got that wheel, I'm going from the other side. So I have that, uh, that wheel tilted this way, uh, a degree and a half or a couple degrees, okay? And you might see the tool shave a little aluminum off that uh, center of that wheel. So here we go. Right, get it over there. Get the vacuum going. There we are. Yeah, I took that little bit of aluminum off. Yeah, just like that. Okay, now fooling around with these things, I found it was better to bring them to like this point on this side of the wheel than do the, do the left hand uh, edge of it, the left side of it that cuts the thread against the right hand tool, this edge from this side. So. This is a real easy setup for uh, for uh, for a quick resharp. 
cut these in just a little tiny bit and polish it. Okay, I'm kind of anxious to see uh, how this will cut. I'll get over to the lab. The cutoff tool I like to use for my special screw button. I, I made this myself years and years ago. I used it on the uh, soft and heavy pen. 35 years ago, something like that. It's a handy little deal, little high speed blade, and I'll show you how I'm shocking it. Hope y'all doing good. Let me see if I can loosen this mic real fast. Yeah. And get swung around. So to save room and then plus have a very versatile hand grinder on this end of the cutter grinder. I could swing this around, change wheels, do everything. But I built this uh, rest here out of aluminum. It's, it's nicely adjustable. And so I have it adjusted to um, sharpen the um, cutoff tool. So I'll do that real quick. I can flip the mic this way and I think lock the camera. Okay. This goes pretty fast. <laughs> So I can just lay it on there, this rest I can adjust. And you know, being a high speed steel tool and uh, cutting in oil hardening drill rod I got over there, it's nice to be able to touch it up real quick, just like this. Yeah. See it right there? Gonna shave my thumbnail. Sharp, okay. Power that down and get back over there and uh, do a thread test real quick. Okay, got this old machine oiling up on its own and it needs a little bit of help too. So, uh, I already did, but I'll give it another shot here. It's squirting a little oil on the, on the lead screw, and just a little bit of everything else that slides. The waves are oiling good, but it'll give it a little bit more. Be sliding the tailstock in there. Okay. So I got this set here at 16 threads per inch. Looks good. And engage the uh, lead screw. Okay, that's engaged. You don't want to get your mouse caught in there. Okay, I'll get set up and we'll cut a thread. 